we are actually the rescue for all the animals that have been neglected and abused. If we have the space, we rescue them. The animal cruelty unit was investigating a person who had severely starved an animal. So we took him in. You could see the dents in his skull, his ribs, his tiny little waist. Fortunately, the animal was removed, the person was charged. However, that person turned around and got another one and did the exact same thing to that. Just remember that it leads to human violence. It leads to domestic violence. It leads to elderly abuse, child abuse. So, I mean, you need to stop it early. I'm here seven days a week, 365 days a year, every day. They deserve to, to, be, to be able to depend on at least one human in this world that will constantly always be here. They will never not see me, ever. I worked the case where a, uh, one of our rescues had an embedded collar, four inches embedded into her neck with some necrotic tissue. Um, it was a black little lab mixed, and it was actually one of the first cases that I got that the rescue didn't die by the hand of the offender. I usually work those type of cases, but this was the first pup that didn't, you know, so on the criminal aspect of it, you know, we ended up working it, and, and I just didn't want to let her fall behind the system. She was seen as broken, not adoptable, and we ended up, you know, I ended up pulling her from the shelter you know, just with friends and family, raising money to get her vetted, you know, nurse her back to health because that, that collar basically had to be surgically removed because it was embedded into her neck where she would have gone septic or would have poisoned. Thank God, you know, I had another, uh, another fellow officer that ended up adopting her. I've been a detective for over 11 years. Before this animal cruelty unit started, they would always give me these animal cruelty um, cases because they said, oh, well, Vanessa likes dogs. You know, I had started the actual rescue, became a nonprofit in February of 2017. There needs to be a unit as far as for animal cruelty because a lot of these cases are falling through the cracks. There was hundreds of cases that fell through the cracks that, you know, they weren't being prosecuted. It was the end of 2017, around October 2017, that this unit would become official. Landon, don't egg her on. Stop. I'm gonna close your slot. Thank you. It's the best thing. It's their, it's unconditional love. It's something special to earn trust from an animal. Not just a dog, but any animal. an incident where there was a pup where unfortunately you know they fractured her her leg and they had to put her down because the owner couldn't afford that's where I kind of had to take a step back because it's very upsetting um, I think well could I've been there to help her if I would have offered my help for that poor lady to save her pup so that always that that one still bothers me that's still fresh in my case in my mind still there's an emotional burnout. You, you have to, I have to continue being here for the pups because if I'm not, who else is gonna be there for them? I'm not gonna let any person stop me from taking care of the pups because they need us. I mean, if, if we're, we're not there to help them, who's gonna help them? And there's times that, it, you know, it's upsetting that I can't help them, you know, so. Still, they say that you can't save them all, but I can try. Thank you.